Hello, today let's learn about sum. Sum is used when adding multiple numeric values. For today's example, we'll be looking into salary related use case. Now as shown on the right, I have an employee record with salary info. So there will be some scenarios in this tutorial, such as the total salary expense in the company, where we want to display in this company tab that I've created prior to this tutorial. So let's get cracking. Head over to data, go to the table that you want the sum to execute, for my case is company, view columns, let's add a virtual column. So what is a virtual column? Virtual column doesn't represent an actual column in the data table. Virtual column values are not actually stored anywhere. Virtual column behaves like an ordinary column. Now in the virtual column, let's add some details. Starting with the column name, I will start with the total overall salary. And for the formula, I'm using the one as shown on screen. So basically what it does, it will pull the data from the employee data table and select the salary column. You will find this in the description down below. Once done, let's save and have a look at the results. Now we can see the total overall salary is $345,458. Let's say we want to sum the total amount of for a specific job category. For an example, I'll be selecting PMO. So, similar to what we have done, we add virtual columns, give the column a name, in this case, total salary for PMO. Now we will be using the same expression but adding a condition. The expression is sum select employee data salary job equals to PMO. So this restricts the output for only PMO category. You can verify it by checking the expression assistant. Alright, let's have a look at what we have so far. Now you'll see the total salary for the PMO job category. So what if we have more than one condition? Say I want to sum up the total salary for PMOs from a specific country. In this case, the United States. Oh well, same as before. We'll use the same code, but this time with an N expression. So N allows us to combine multiple conditions for a more specific output. You can use OR if you want the output to be more versatile. But for this tutorial, I'll be using an expression as follows. Sum select employee data salary column n job equals to pmo country equals to united states once you're done expression assistant will help you to verify the expression that we have done earlier
so in the end you will see all three of the sum types that we have done for this tutorial in one page hope you enjoyed as much as i did do give a thumbs and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos that is all for now take care bye bye